we could see the king of cups we could also see the queen of cups knight of cups and the page of cups the ace of cups as well oh yeah you see i just said we could see the queen of cups that's creepy that's creepy i got the chills okay wow wow oh i want to get up and walk away oh my god that's insane that is insane you're about to be in the relationship <laughs> I think you have Libra, my Libras, okay? The scale's definitely turning in your favor. I think you have the best reading. You're about to be in the relationship of a lifetime. There's the star, Aquarius, also ruling planet Uranus. Wow, that is incredible. That's incredible. Hello, my beautiful Libra peoples. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome. Do make yourself comfortable, okay? Crosswatchers, you are welcome. This is your 2022 general predictions read. I don't even know what I'm saying. Do bear with me. It's been such a long night. But uh, this is your 2022 predictions read, okay? It is a general read, so do take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Energies are interchangeable as well. As I was saying, crosswatchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are open. You can check the Linktree link, read all the info when it comes to personal reads. And if you feel like your intuition is calling, then book a read. And with all that out of the way, let's get started. We're going to see what 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022. Okay, we're going to see what 2022 is all about for my Libra peoples. Okay, let's start off with the dice here. Let's see what we got oh wait a minute that's neptune isn't no that's pluto yeah that's pluto that's neptune let me get the book though just in case i'm just getting into the planets and then you have cancer there so something could happen june of 2022 like there could be stuff going down but if that's pluto right next to it pluto is a planet of sex death the occult mysteries okay Let's see here. Yeah, that's Pluto. I was right. I was right. Yeah, so you have Pluto. Also, we could see a lot of... Uh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio because Pluto rules over Scorpio. Um, and we could see the death card. We could also see judgment as well, which are both Scorpio uh, energies. Here we have Cancer. So we could see... Which one is Cancer? Cancer is not Neptune. What the hell? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who rules over Cancer? Yeah, I'm real. I'm really out of it. I'm really out of it today. Do bear with me. I'm like, who rules over Cancer? The Moon, obviously, bro. <laughs> okay, so we could see the Moon card kick in. We could also see the Chariot. A lot of water here. We could see. A lot of cups energy as well we could see the king of cups we could also see the queen of cups knight of cups and the page of cups the ace of cups as well oh yeah you see i just said we could see the queen of cups that's creepy that's creepy i got the chills okay let's put her up here let's move the dice let's move the cross i feel like okay there we go what else we have oh wow the emperor so aries energy mars energy as well another uh tough planet mars okay a planet of war uh death destruction also sex so yeah it's very intense this energy nine of pentacles wow wow i, I want to get up and walk away oh my god that's insane that is insane you're about to be in the relationship <laughs> I think you have Libra, my Libras, okay? The scale's definitely turning in your favor. I think you have the best reading. You're about to be in the relationship of a lifetime. There's the star, Aquarius, also ruling planet Uranus. Wow, that is incredible. That's incredible. That's incredible. The two of cups. What did I say? We could see a lot of the cups card cups cards come out um 
and when you have three right in your spread and then you're gonna have the magician at the bottom this is a fantastic energy you could be dealing with a gemini okay the signs i'm seeing here gemini um aquarius scorpio because of pluto cancer aries yeah really it could be any water sign as well so pisces is in that energy as well you have the magician which is uh, gemini that's mercury virgo uh, also is ruled by mercury so you could also be dealing with a virgo definitely watch out for mercury retrograde okay do pay attention to that you might be a bit more stagnant a bit more emotional but for some of you mercury retrograde because this magician is there there could be a time period where you can really manifest where you can really do magic okay i'm hearing sex magic for some of you so what i'm saying here is the energy is interchangeable here you or someone is making a move okay this is a love read this is your year of love either you're putting your your side out there or this person is okay i feel like the energy is interchangeable here you know i'm seeing here a pair both individuals are making a move towards each other somebody here you know take it how it resonates but somebody here is in that emperor energy a really strong energy and then somebody else it's almost like this Queen of Cups is paired with someone else, the Emperor, but I'm getting multiple messages, so do take it how it resonates, but I feel like this Emperor, this Queen of Cups is who you're supposed to be with, and it's like they're paired with this Emperor, but it's like now they're heading their way. I'm hearing coming home. Yeah, somebody here is making a love offer, the Two of Cups and the Star. This is a beautiful energy. This is like soulmate energy, twin flame for a lot of you. Um, this could very well be your twin flame. It could be your mirror soul. Like, you have a destiny to fulfill with this individual. Okay. I'm getting 444. I'm also getting the name Anthony. And I'm getting the name Marissa as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, Ace of Wands. So, it's almost like Spirit is confirming what I'm saying here. What else? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody here... Take it how it resonates, Libra. It could be you or it could be this person. It could be the both of you. I feel like somebody here is juggling uh, two people. Okay, I do get that energy here. Somebody is juggling two people. Somebody is having to make a decision here. Here's the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Even though somebody is with someone else, it's like they don't have feelings for the person they're with. They have feelings for the other individual. This could be the Twin Flame. This could be a soulmate, okay? Or, or this could just be a general love. But I do feel for a lot of you, this is some sort of soulmate. Yeah, there was like a huge loss here. Or maybe, yeah, Two of Swords. Like, somebody was blinded by the situation. I'm hearing love like that doesn't exist. So somebody here realized that it was either you or this person. But it's like you're going through this awakening where you're realizing that this is really beautiful, okay? I have to say, this is beautiful. Um, somebody here is realizing that true love is worth fighting for. And so I'm hearing somebody here is about to fight for you or you're going to fight for this person. You're like, nope, I'm not letting my person, you know, that magician here, a very determined energy. Like, no, after you, you, you know, you may have been stabbed in the back or you, you may have felt like it was done. It was over. But no, somebody here is rising up that that chariot. There's that chariot, that cancer energy. Somebody here is rising up. Somebody here is coming forward charging in the fool they're ready they're ready to bring light to the situation they're ready to speak three of pentacles they want to build here okay they want to work on this they want to heal this somebody here is coming okay cross watchers you may resonate the three of swords yeah there was a, a, another person there could have been a love triangle in your guys's energy or this person's energy but somebody here is seeing it clearly for what it is king of wands and the nine of cups they're seeing it clearly for what it is like they've they sat down and they've accepted that you know it was either you or this person there was a realization that this is a soulmate connection this is a twin flame connection this is a divine connection something that needs to be done in this lifetime and now they want to come in and build they want to work really hard okay they know that you 
uh, you and them are meant to be together or you know that you're meant to be with this person yeah the devil there a lot of sex the hanging man pisces like it's gonna turn your world upside down okay yeah ace of cups this is pure love this is true love okay i'm gonna stop right there i don't want to read through the whole deck but yeah the moon more cancer energy the moon in tarot also is pisces energy a lot of people don't know that so you're seeing double the water there that's why i'm saying it could also be a pisces you're dealing with or somebody that has a lot of water in their chart um but this is a very uh spiritual relationship a very spiritual connection here and you're you guys are both meant to like your relationship is meant to prepare humanity for the next the next phase that's what i'm hearing the next phase of light yeah temperance people here like first of all your angels are watching over this okay they're protecting this energy they're protecting you and this person here we have the tower as well so something here happened either in you or this individual's life what do you know there's that empress yeah it's crazy because i feel like you guys regardless of your gender regardless of how you identify yourself there was an emperor here, but with the Queen of Cups, and there was the King of Cups over here, and now the Empress is there. So I feel like you guys are interchangeable. One moment you're Divine Feminine, but then the next moment you're Divine Masculine. And so you guys really have to pay attention to the roles here. Um, you know, which role are you in? Because I feel like the energies as a collective change and shift. And so what I'm seeing here, the Tower moments, whoever is in the, the Divine Feminine is making a move okay that's what i'm seeing here this is the first time i'm seeing this because for a lot of the collective it was the divine masculine that was going to come back or the divine masculine was going to make the move no i'm seeing here the divine feminine now it could be female could be male right non-gender binary however they identify themselves or if this is you but i'm seeing the divine feminine is coming forward they've had some sort of spiritual awakening about this and it's a tower moment they're coming forward they're making a move but yeah look six of wands at the bottom they're coming forward making this move you have the four of wands the nine of cups the ten of pen wow 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 that's incredible the page of cups you're making this uh, you or this person whoever the divine feminine is in this connection this is big this is like you guys are gonna move like you don't think that this person, for a lot of you, because I do feel like some of you are dealing with a false twin or you're dealing with a karmic, but for uh, um, some of you here, you're making the move or this person's making the move and this is going to be the start of a beautiful, blessed connection, okay? This is going to be the start of something so beautiful. Like, all it is is somebody here putting their heart out on the line, like literally taking that risk, overcoming their fear and taking that risk and, and putting their heart out there, that that page of cups, we're seeing a lot of cups, right? Temperance, he's holding the cups, right? And it's like, you or this person doesn't think that anything's going to happen, but it starts this beautiful connection. It starts something so beautiful. Four of wands, nine of cups, this is a dream come true. Ten of pentacles, that's a happily ever after. That is a connection where you're both rich, you're both abundant love of a lifetime that's what i'm hearing eight of wands death there's that death card scorpio energy right queen of swords ten of wands you're done carrying people okay i am seeing for libra and like this message specifically for you you're done carrying people you're done giving people second chances okay you're done entertaining a lot of nonsense okay you're done it was too much of a burden okay some of you are releasing a toxic parent or toxic kids okay adult children um you know in their 20s some of you are releasing that you're pushing that away and six of wands you're you're moving forward you're moving forward you're not holding back for for anyone over here yeah how do i not have the lights here tarot deck what am i doing that's what i said i'm all over the place and I have a couple of reads to do for clients later today. So hopefully I'm more balanced when when we get to later, right? Because I have some clients I need to do readings for. Anyhow, let's see what else, Spirit. Death here, the tower. That's a monstrous energy, but you don't need to be alarmed because temperance is there. Your angels are watching over. They are going to help you and assist you. 
okay, a lot of stuff is going to come crashing down. It needs to come crashing down. It's almost like you know it has to, or this person, this twin flame, this soulmate, okay, whoever you're dealing with, it's like they know it has to come crashing down. And so you guys can build a new, right? You can build a new. Like, it, it's going in numerology, like, numerical order, one, two, three, from reverse, okay? It's showing here, um, a huge awakening that you're going through, and you step into this Queen of Swords energy, where you're done, you're done carrying other people's relationships, other people's feelings, you're just done entertaining the nonsense, and then you finally make that offer, you put that offer, you decide, I'm gonna do it, okay, you're in that Empress energy, the Divine Feminine here, somebody is the Divine Feminine, and they're realizing, you know what, I'm gonna make a move, true love is worth fighting for, okay, that's what I'm hearing here, and success is yours for a lot of you success is yours if this is a real uh, twin flame a real soulmate somebody that you have a contract with yeah and then it's like for a lot of you you're moving out of state you're moving out of state we have the world there here we have five of cups yeah it's like a lot of you had this realization maybe you like imagined like if that person were to or maybe this person imagined, like, either way, somebody here was imagining, like, because you have death, somebody here was imagining, like, so-and-so, like, you know, I, I don't like talking about this, but somebody here was imagining so-and-so dying, like, if they, if they were to leave the world tomorrow, and, you know, they were imagining, like, everything that they would have said, or everything they wish they would have said before this person would have left and it's like they had this it, it's crazy because in doing that somebody either you libra or this individual they've had this realization that they want to fight for this connection either you want you want to fight for it or they want to fight for it yeah the sun it was like a realization it was an epiphany pluto and the sun scorpio and leo some of you could be scorpio leo etc etc or the roles could be reversed here's the ace of wands twin flame for a lot of you there's this deep, deep, passionate love that you both have for each other. It's so intense. There's that King of Wands. A new beautiful beginning. Notice the mirroring, okay? Right? Twin flames tend to mirror each other. They're mirror souls. Here you have Leo energy. Over here, the lion, that Leo energy, right? You can't make it up. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. What's going to be at the bottom of the deck Tell me if you don't get chills when I show you, Libra. You have the King of Wands there, and you have the Queen of Wands at the bottom. This is a divine connection. This is a real divine connection. And I feel like the divine feminine, I feel like the Queen of Wands, she's out here on her own, right, at the bottom of the deck, because I feel like it's the divine feminine. The divine feminine here is the one making this move. He or she is making the call. He or she is putting their heart on the line, all in the sake of true love. So for those of you that know, you know for a fact you're dealing with a twin flame, not a false twin, because a lot of people are dealing with a false twin. A lot of people are dealing with a karmic. A lot of people are just not even dealing with either of that. They're dealing with some random weirdo that they found off, off the street. If this is a real twin... You guys really do have a soul purpose and soul mission here. And Aquarius was there through the star card, the age of Aquarius. We're in the age of Aquarius before the golden age of humanity. Poor health. Yeah, this was really weighing on somebody's mind. Relocation. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said. You're, you and this person are going to get together and you're going to move. Owl, deep shadow work. Yeah, there was like a dark night of the soul here single life somebody here was going crazy wondering if the other person was single or seeing somebody or seeing people like it drove them crazy it kept them up all night trial and error oh so some of you could be so well off that you're moving around different places and living in different places third party so some of you could have been in a third party situation um for a long time okay this could have been going on for months with this individual but I do see that this is coming to its end, okay? The owl, he's peering through the darkness, okay? He's seeing through this situation, okay? He's able, to, you know, the owl, 
is able to see through the darkness what is hidden. The owl is able to see what is hidden in the dark, okay? Those eyes, you see those eyes? Whoever this owl is representing, they've realized something about this connection, okay? For a lot of you, your person went with someone else that they weren't supposed to be with. They were supposed to be with you, okay? They got caught up with friends, family, okay? Led astray is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing 444, okay? I'm also seeing the number 1717. And it's like somebody here is having an awakening. I feel like it's you guys. I feel like for most of my Libras, you're the divine feminine and you're seeing through the darkness. You're seeing through what needs to happen, where you need to take action. I'm also seeing this as like, owls are very precise. They're very, a lot of them are very precise. You know, when they make their move to catch the prey, th that's basically it. And they they fly through, they fly through without a second thought they've they've they have their target locked on they are flying through they are charging so it's like you you've had a realization about the situation or this person has i feel like it's the divine feminine so take it how it resonates unfinished yeah it's unfinished business this is not over leadership yeah you're you're in that empress energy a lot of you the hidden yeah you've you've had you realize that there were a lot of secrets involved in this connection stuff was being hidden but you got tarot reads you got insight and just listening to your intuition and praying you found out stuff about this person you found out the truth about the situation or they found out the truth about you and now they're taking, you know, you see leadership there. They're taking charge. They're locking on. Either you or this person is going to make a move. And you're going to be in the relationship of a lifetime. You're going to finish it off with the tower at the bottom. Yeah, this is going to be a huge shock. This is going to cause a huge shift in the timeline. That fly. This is going to cause a huge shift in the timeline, okay? This is going to change everything. This is going to change humanity forever. Yeah, look, 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 look what's at the bottom. You can't make it up. Look, the tower, the four of cups. Somebody here is making the love offer. There's that two of cups. Six of swords. Moving into calmer, calmer waters. But look at the three, 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 three. Look. You can't make it up, Libra. For a lot of you, this is it. So that is your reading, my beautiful Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you...